my name's Adam, and this is Simon. Today we're talking about how you can use Dr. K kinesiology tape to help with shoulder AC joint injuries. So these injuries are quite common in sport particularly, and usually occur as a result of a direct blow or a fall on your shoulder. Uh, taping can be helpful to support pain and normalise function in the early stages of recovery to allow return to sport more effectively. We're going to measure our tape to run from just below the edge of the neck there, down across the arm, to about sort of mid biceps sort of level through the area. So this is a it's slightly different application in the sense that we want to actually have the arm elevated to some degree. Often with the kinesiology taping where we're doing the taping with the arm or the, the area in question in a lengthened position, but we want to try and decompress the AC joint a little bit if we can. And most of the area that you're using the arm is in an elevated position. So if we can try and have the arm at about 45 degrees in our application, that's probably going to be ideal for decompressing that area. So again, we're going to measure our piece running from up top to down mid arm, allowing for the fact that the tape's going to lengthen a little bit once we actually put it on. And we're going to trim the edges in preparation to make sure it doesn't peel off. So with our arm in 45 degrees, we're going to tear the base piece of the tape and we're allowing a little bit more length in this than we normally would because we're doing a self-taping application. So we're going to create a little piece that we can then add on. I'm going to give this to Simon so he can start from there. And we're going to put that piece quite high up on the shoulder, a bit further up above the AC joint, so that's our anchor point. Go a little bit further back as well, yep. And we're going to stick that down there. And then we're going to gently grab our little tab after we've rubbed the stick effectively, if we can find it, and peel that down until we've exposed most of the tape. Yep, and once we've got most of it down, we can grab onto the end where the tape's still attached, try to line our tape up with our AC joint, pull about 50% tension, and then place it down over the arm. That's it. And once we've got that down there, we can just bring the hand back and pat down the tape to cover it and make sure it's contacting effectively with the skin all the way along. Up up with it. Yeah, making sure those little areas in the the pockets of your shoulder recovered properly, peel off the, the bottom end and allow that last little bit of the application to go on without any tension. And then we're going to measure a second piece which is going to cross the AC joint over the front there. And again we're going to keep our arm in that sort of 45 degree elevated position for that particular application. Cut the corners off as we've done for previous applications and we're going to go from back to front with this one. So we're going to do a, again a, a tear and a fold of our piece of tape. Get that to Simon. So he's going to then place that. So the AC joint sits about there so we're going to place that behind on the back of your shoulder a little bit so we're ending up coming over the AC joint Yep, with our taping. We're going to peel back like we've done with the other, the first piece, just gently until you get the area exposed. And then once that's exposed, grab on with the base, pull about 75% tension, and then stick down over the AC joint, allowing the last piece of the tape to go on without any tension. So as with all kinesiology taping applications, we want to make sure the tape doesn't come off. So in this particular application, it's prone to, to come off when you're dressing or showering. So trying to make sure you don't catch it on clothing when you're getting dressed, uh, when you're showering, using your towel to pat dry rather than rubbing. Uh, making sure you don't use moisturisers or oils or lotions under the tape before the application and removing excessive hair before you apply where needed as well. So AC joint injuries are, as I said, common in sport and treatment and modalities to help support recovery in the early stages can include rest and ice but as you get more progressive with the rehabilitation, that can start to include strengthening activities and return to sport functional uh, exercises and, and activities too. So for more information, visit sportstrap.com.au.